know three people who have lost loved ones in bike car crashes. And guess what? It's always the cyclist who loses. I watched a bicycle courier die when he ran into a concrete pole. The only good thing about my daughter moving to Whitehorse, Whitehorse, is that she no longer rides her bike in downtown city traffic. So I have a great investment in cyclist safety. And right here on Pottery Road in Midtown Toronto, within almost my arm length, we have the right way to do bike and car and the wrong way to do bike and car. On the opposite side of the street, there's a concrete barrier with a walkway for pedestrians and cyclists going uphill. Coming downhill, we've got cyclists and cars single file down this rocket ship. Look at this guy going by with his bike, somebody right behind him. What happens if the car behind this guy is on a cell phone? What happens if this guy tries to hit his brakes, he falls in the middle of the road? He, or she in that case, is dead. Who came up with this idea? I can't believe this. This is absolutely insane. The person who designed this thing shouldn't just be fired, they should be put in jail. The road is wet, it has just rained. In wintertime, some cyclists will still come down and drive their bikes on this particular piece of road. It's a death trap, I can't believe this. Now, why do they do stuff like this? Because cyclists are petitioning for more bike lanes. Never mind the fact that there are complete waste of resources because you can see how many bicyclists there are compared to how many cars there are. But if you're gonna do it, you don't do it like this. They don't seem to be concerned about their safety. How ironic is it that I'm the guy who is the advocate for cyclist safety? I'm Jim Kenzie.